What's up, guys? Uh, just barely got done watching the game, watching uh, a show right now, so I decided to make this video. Um, on my first video, was my first thoughts. I wanted to see from Dak. You know what? I came out pretty impressed with Dak. You know, he uh, he really did impress me. You know, he he sat in that pocket with poise, and he truly did show quite a bit. You know, he there, you know the Cowboys did take kind of a little bit of criticism for um for drafting him late. You know, you know most fourth fourth rounders don't make it. Don't do that well, actually. You know, it's only the first preseason game, but man, he he looked good in that pocket. You know, there was there was a few plays where, man, he he looked like he'd been playing in the NFL for for years. Uh, well, to me, anyways. You know, I don't know what y'all guys think. Um, you know, offensive line looked great. You know, Des Bryant being Des, those two. Uh, uh, back shoulder fades from Dak. They were they were good catches. That one touchdown was great. The one catch that I really did, I really did open my eyes a little bit for Dak was that deep pass to Terrence Williams. Man, that was a beautiful pass. I mean, perfect, well placed. He sat in that, you know, did a small pump fake and then he let it go and. You know, touchdown. You know, really did look good. I mean, there were a few, there were a few plays where he, you know, he he looked great. Um, uh, Cole Beasley did he did good, and there were a couple plays where he, I think there was two plays where he did some good first down. He had some uh, got caught a pass for first down. Um, then there was the defense. The defense did really well. I mean, the pass rush still needs to be there. Uh, they're just... I don't know. they got to figure something out with that pass rush. Uh, David Irvin did really well. Uh, that linebacker, no Novak or from Wyoming. I, I really like... I have a good feeling about him. Um, I believe that he... He can develop into... A starting linebacker, you know, to replace uh, Rolando McLean, who he can't get his damn life together. Uh, the Cowboys just need to let him go. There were, you know, there were a few plays where I just, I think the Cowboys could be contenders. I truly do believe that. So, I just think that with, with Dak, with Dak, being maybe maybe number two, he could make you know if Romo goes down, God forbid, and Romo goes down again, um, he could. I can't say lead him to the playoffs. That'd be too high of expectations. Um, I think that he he can do good. I truly do. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing that the that we need to do is that. The def, you know they, they got to do something about the the, the pass rush. And know I know Rod Marinelli, they have said that he don't like the blitz too much. He lets the defensive line do work, which is true. Um, I I rather hit them do the, uh, most of the work. That that's why I think whenever I coach junior high, you know I I coach a four three scheme, and you know that's what I coach my kids. You know, defensive line makes the makes the the plays. Uh, special teams. They they did good. Um, Lucky Whitehead that one uh, one hundred one yard kick return that was <laughs> the op that's that's the way to open a preseason. You know, I I think he'll be he'll make a great kick returner punt returner. You know, still got a lot to learn. Um, Dan Bailey being Dan Bailey, you know, he's made made that kick. We missed that one, but got called. You know, got called for a penalty by the Rams. So, <sighs> excuse me, son of a bitch. Yeah, been been a long day. Um, you know, I really really do like what I see. Um, Romo may get he he'll he'll probably get some more playing time. Wouldn't doubt it, you know, next week. 
or this coming the for the second this coming week. So he, I really really looking forward to seeing what happened ne next week. You know, hopefully Ezekiel Elliott gets some time. I really wanted to see him. Um, so they're probably gonna you know put play him next week. Uh, who's in? There's a uh, Tyron Smith was out. Waiting, Witten was out. Dez was supposed to be out, so I'm pretty sure he begged to get in there. I wouldn't blame him, you know, get back into into that field. Uh, there was a there's a few more things I wanted to talk about. Um, my mind went blank here. Uh, really, really did enjoy, really did enjoy the game. You know, happy for you know LA for being heading back. Uh, the Rams for heading back to LA. I'm sorry. Um, they look good. That re that quarterback that they had, McCannon from Oregon State. I really liked him. Uh, uh, there, there's that running back Green. He looked really good too. Um, Jeff Jared Goff. I don't know, man. You know, he was in that kind of a system. That you know, we're well, not really a, a pro system that. He, you know, that when he ran at, at Cal, but you know, it's only first game. You know, maybe may been butterflies or, or whatnot. But we'll see what happens. There was one player that did stick out to me was that player that did that they that the Cowboys did sign a few days ago, or actually a week ago. He was from Texas A&M. You know, he was award winner. I don't know what award it was. Really like what he did. Um, I think he was the one that got the sack on golf. So you know. They could, you know, maybe build off of that. Um, one person that did not show up at all, who I didn't, they didn't even call his name, was Rico Gathers. Man, I, I don't, I didn't even see nothing from him. There was a one play where he, you know, he, I think he could have done a little bit better on the blocking, but they didn't. So we'll see what happens. You know, week two. Preseason week two is coming up. Um, so we'll see what happens. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I'm trying to get one of my buddies. He's a big Cowboys fan with me as well. He's he's a big Cowboys fan. We're going to make a video, you know, give our thoughts on the game. Kind of like a commentary. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm waiting on him, on his response. He's a great guy, a photographer. He's a DJ, and he, he's a great guy. Um, so hopefully we'll make a video together, you know, give our thoughts, and we'll go from there. But uh, to everyone, please subscribe. I need more subscribers. Please help me out. Uh, hit that like button, thumbs up. Um, no thumbs down, please. No thumbs down. <laughs> uh, um, so looking forward to making my next video. Uh, so any of the cow other other Cowboys fans who care to have a question or you know would would like to you know maybe do something with my videos, please hit me up. Uh, hit me up on Facebook or on Twitter, uh, Serna nineteen eighty seven on Twitter and on Facebook is Hector Serna. So just hit me up and maybe maybe we can, you know, get together, ask, you know, to talk Cowboys. Uh, please help me out. Give me that subscribe and hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. Go Cowboys and we'll see you on the next video. Later.